cool tree. I wanted to show you a bit of where I grew up as a child. You know, I'm just reflecting and remembering this place. It's called Johnny Beach. It's in the rural part of St. Thomas, a place called New Pira. And this is one of the places that I grew up as a child. You know, like going to the bush to get the crabs and to move the cows to get the cow milk. And there are times when we were at home and the place would get hot, very hot like now. And we would come down to Johnny Beach to get a swim. Well, I can't swim, so I would just sit in the shallow part of the water to, um, to get my feet wet because I was afraid of the seawater. But today, you know, it's a good reflection. It's good to remember where you are coming from because then if you don't know where you are coming from, then you actually don't know where you are or where you're going. Your, 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 where you're coming from is always important. And when you can remember how you grew up as a child, then if you see a child acting a certain way, then you won't treat them bad because what? You know how you grow up. So I wanted to show you around. So that's the, that's the sea, beautiful sea over there. It's really beautiful, clean water, it's really pretty. And then you have the mangrove on that side. And you know that in the mangrove, you, have, you find crocodiles and you find like different species of fish in the mangrove. And it's really nice to see that they have destroyed the mangrove. And you know, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's really a good feeling right now to visit where I grow up as a child. I'm really enjoying this. The breeze is really cool. And as you can look over that side, it used to be cane peel, cane seal. It used to be just cane, just sugar cane. It was just, just sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane. And I found something that I love, tongue shell. These usually be some of my favorite, tongue shell. I really want to take them back home take home something with me to show about the good old Johnny Beach as we call it growing up as a child. I'm wondering if they still use that name and we usually come down and watch the boats come in too. As I, say, as I said on a sunny day, a hot day, Johnny Beach would be my favorite spot as a child and we'll come and take away the donkey, ride the donkey come down at the seaside. And that was fun, but don't make the one I catch it. So I'm gonna show you a bit more of the mangrove and where I used to come to get the crab as a child. As I told you, I ate the month of May because it's crab time and I always have to come down here and get crab for my mom to eat and all that. And that was another drama. That was another that was always tragedy for me. Because I have to be like barefooted and then the mopper like this run up in your foot and stuff like that you know so as I said I just I'm just reflecting on my childhood days going back looking back from where I'm coming from and it's really a good feeling it's really a good feeling I think there's some healing process in this for me it's really it feels really good so I want to just show you some more of have the cows too where he tied them over here but you could have tied them too close to the seaside because if the sea come over I could have drowned them mm -hmm. especially when it when it when it's hurricane season and you're still looking at so you're looking at the mangrove on that side still and a lot of maca trees a lot of maca trees and a lot of grass I remember some grass in over there when you when if you go against go against them they would have cut you up. This is a good urban observer. Oh, 
Medina. So, I am a herb person here I found a patch of Medina. I really want this herb here. Long in fur. Medina. Oh my god. I really want it some Medina. Really, really want it some Medina. Medina is a very good herb. I remember as a child, we would do the Medina. I would boil the Medina, this herb, and drink it with cow milk. And it tastes really good. So, I don't come down to Johnny Beach for nothing because I found something that I really wanted for so long and I can't find it where I'm living. Wow. So, I just want to show you some more. And now I'm going to look for more Medina. That side is the mangrove still. It's a huge piece of land with just mangroves. And you know, the crocodile live in the mangrove and the crab. So like, times like this, you would look keenly to see if there's any crocodile running out of the mangrove. But we didn't mind as a child though. If we didn't mind, we just want to know, say, we come get the, we have to come get, move the cow. And we have to come get the milk in the morning to carry to sell in the community because that was a part of my, my father's living and he would gone to work so I have to go and distribute the milk. That was a bit of pain, you know. I was a bit of pain because you have to wake early in the morning to come out in the night in the morning cool which was horrible but today here I am. It, what they say what don't kill you makes you stronger so here I am today it didn't kill me and I know it really makes me stronger so I'm just showing you a few more that's a few more steps and then we are out of here That's where the crab lives in. So when these people come to crab bush, when it rain, like in the month of May, it rain, the crab have to come out of the hole. So that's when you get actually get the crab. So those are crab holes. Clear crab hole. This is <coughs> this is a crab zone. Crab zone that you just crabs. So like on the, in the month of May to June, it's, it's crab season in this area. And you just get crabs, crabs, crab, pure crab. Every yard you go, you would smell crab, including my yard. Cause, and we would have to have crab for lunch, crab for breakfast, crab for dinner, crab, crab, crab. So this, is a, this was a part of my journey. And um, even though it was a rough journey, I'm really thanking God today. I've made it. I am not worse. And He has been really good to me to deliver me from all these struggles. You know, and I want to tell somebody that whatever you are going through, reflect. Remember where you are coming from to where you are now. And match them. Put them together and see which one is worse. And always remember to give God thanks for where you're coming from. That's it. Amen.